Hi, my name is David Welch. I'm coming to you today from Brothers Tech Center. We like to take our parts and actually bolt them onto trucks before you ever get them so we make sure they fit your truck like a dream. Today I'm going to show you how to install our deluxe disc brake kit on Oscars 51 GMC pickup here. But these are going to work from 47 all the way to 59 on your Chevy and your GMC. Let me show you a few tools you're going to need and what comes with the kit. As far as tools are concerned, you really don't need anything exotic or um, out of the ordinary. It should be stuff that you probably already have in your mechanics chest. If you don't, then it'll only be a couple of bucks to get what you don't have. The kit's going to come with your caliper here comes with a bracket that holds the caliper on, the bolts necessary for that. Comes with this little spacer right here and these bolts that hold it on. Comes already with your hose, your uh, necessary equipment to put all that on. Comes with your lug nuts and it comes with the rotor that is available in either five lug or six lug because sometimes when you're converting these trucks you'll go with a five lug rear end out of a Camaro or something like that and you can have the bolt patterns matching on the front and the back if you're still going to stay with your six lug in the back you can stay with your six lug in the front and that's nice so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this and show you what's necessary for it. It's not that big of a deal. Take you a couple of hours. I'd say on a scale of one to ten, I'd give this maybe uh, four or five. So we're gonna pull our cup off right here. You're gonna notice this large nut right here, and it is being held on by the cotter pin right here. You're just gonna take that, bend it back, push it forward some. Grab a hold of it here, pull it forward and out, put it in your cap so that you can keep everything together nice and neat. When we take this off, just get a big wrench here, and we'll spin this off. Now, if you're going to be going with disc brakes up front, you should install our roller bearing kit because it can take the stress of radial tires and the roads that we've got going on. These right here, these are roller bearings versus the ball bearings that originally come in that. All you gotta do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to find the video on that. So with that out and in our cap here, I can pull this guy off. Now if this has trouble coming off, it's probably because these are worn out too far and your drum's worn. There's a little wheel right here that spins, and you tighten this up or down, that'll make these go in or out. There's a little access door to the back right here that you can spin that wheel with, so you can make it go in, then you can pull it off. Now that we've got this sitting right here, what we're going to do is simply take out the two bolts on the top and the bottom. We'll go ahead and disconnect our brake line from the back right here. And then all this here is just going to pop right on off nice and easy. So let me get to that and I'll show you what comes next. So I'll knock the nuts out from the back, the bolts, everything just pulls off nice like that. And I can set it aside. And then I'm going to take this bracket right here, and this is very specific the way this goes on. We're going to set it right like this. What you're going to want to notice is that you'll you see the top right here, it's got the two bolts, this one here doesn't. That's going to go like that. You also want to make sure that this, where it's tilting, is tilting towards the inside. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get that on with the bolts that are supplied. You're going to get the bolt, the washer, and the lock nut here. When you're installing these, the washer goes on the back side with the nut. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these bolts on and get it set up. Then I can get this part right here and move it up. And that's going to go right in there like that. Same thing on the other side. So let me get this bolted up, get the caliper on. I'll show you what to check next. With my bracket and my caliper bolted up, I can check my clearance. I want to make sure I don't hit my kingpin or anything else. So I'm just going to turn it side to side, double check everything. I'm all good to go. 
Sometimes on the caliper, the casting might be a little unusual. It may not slide properly back and forth right here, so I'll double check that too. Now that I've got this all set up, and I'm sure it's going to be working great, I'll go to the hub and I'll get it all set up. Let me show you how that works out. Now we're actually going to be using the hub that came on the truck originally. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the cap that came with our kit. We're going to put this over the top because we're going to grind these rivets off right here and we don't want to get any shavings into our bearings because of course that doesn't work really good. So I'm going to go ahead and grind these guys off. I'll get a punch. I'll get a hammer. I'll knock those guys on out of there. Then I'll show you how to put the hub together. knocked out my rivets here. Now I'm actually going to be knocking out my um, studs here too because the kit comes with these studs that are a little bit longer and uh, specific for this kit. Now really you should be using a press on this and things like that but more than likely you don't have one so you can just hammer these out. Just take your time, be careful, wear your safety glasses. So I've knocked my studs out and where my rivets were, I've drilled it out with 3 8 so that these bolts can go right through there. What we're going to do is put this right on top of our disc, line up our holes. We're going to get this little spacer here that came with the kit. Set it right on top. Now you'll notice that these have a bevel in it right here. That's where these three bolts are going to go. And sometimes when you're lining these up, they might be slightly off or something, and you might have to uh, realign or drill the hole out a little bit larger. That's uh, all commonplace. When you're tightening these down, just kind of snug them up a little bit at, and uh, make sure that they're going in nice and straight and even and that they're fitting into the bevel nice too. Okay, so you see these lines right here, these splines? There are splines that are going to match it in the original hub. When you install this, go ahead and try to get those splines to match up. Just turn it back and forth a little bit, kind of get it lined up there. If you don't have a press, you get a socket like this, you put it right up underneath, and then you're going to want to cover your bearings so you don't get any shavings in there. Give it a couple of light taps here. Before you get hammering on it too much, switch to a punch or something so you don't hit any of the hub or your disc. After I've got these all bottomed out, I can go ahead and install it. I've made sure my spindle is clean. I put some extra grease on it. I make sure I've got my dust cap on the back here. I put some extra grease in my hub. I can just slide this right on. It pops on like that. I'll take my outer bearing that, again, I put some extra grease on. I'll just slide it right on in. You'll notice on this washer right here, it's got a bit of a uh, tab sticking down that's going to fit right into that slot. And then we're going to go ahead and put our bolt on. Now this bolt's a little bit uh, different than most bolts. You're not going to actually tighten it down all the way. If you do, it will ruin your bearings. What we're going to do is we're going to get this on uh, relatively tight, relatively snug I should say. And then we're going to turn the rotor and you'll be able to see how freely it turns or not. When it gets a slight drag on it, you know you've gone too far. So we'll get that tight there. Okay, slight drag. We're going to back this up about a quarter of a turn. We're going to line it up so we can get our cotter pin in here. Go ahead and pop that right in like that. We'll bend it over, flatten it down. I'm going to get a little bit extra grease on there just because I'm paranoid about that. We'll get our cap right here that actually has some more grease in it too. And when I install this cap, I don't want to hit on the center. It'll concave it. I want to hit it just around the edges and I'll just lightly tap that in like that. And then I don't have to worry about it falling off. After I've got all this on, I can go ahead and install my caliper. I've already got my brake pads installed here and I've got some anti-squeak on the back of those. You gotta make sure that you install it with the bleeder valve up. And this will just slide right in like this. I'll get my bolts on here. I'll tighten all this stuff up. And I'll be back in a second to show you your next step. 
Now you want to make sure you keep this really good and clean. You'll have a lot of grease and it'll get on your hands and all over the rotors. And if that gets on your brake pads, it can cause a squeaking and of course grease and stopping doesn't really work well together. I'm going to install my hose now. Now I want you to be real careful about this. You'll notice this side right here is nice and flat, but this side is not. We have to make sure that when we bolt this onto the caliper, the flat side goes onto the caliper. We also have to be very wary of these copper washers right here because these seal your brake fluid from coming out. There's going to be one on the front, one on the back. I'll go ahead and bolt this on. After I bolt this side on, We've got our clip, we'll clip that on, and then we'll be all done. You're going to have to bleed your brakes, obviously, and then you're going to be all set. Make sure you go for a nice simple road test first, and then go for a little bit longer one. Make sure you also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm really working hard to do these videos for you guys. I really want to see your trucks back on the road. We'll see you out there.